So today we're going to go after Olive. Olive is a young female sea otter that came on the beach here in uh, 2009 uh, with about 25% of her body coated in oil. The oil was fingerprinted as Monterey Formation Crude, so natural sea. She was washed, rehabbed through the facility, fishing game facility in Santa Cruz. Uh, been out in the wild now since uh, mid-2009. Um, she's got a telemetry device implanted in her and tagged. So we've been following her. Today we're going to go out, capture her, replace that telemetry package so we can continue following her in the years to come. You know, we just realized that her, her transmitter isn't going to last forever and so we want to make sure we change it out while it's still working so we can find her. Uh, captures like this where we want to get very specific animals, the, the most selective technique is using diver-operated traps called Wilson traps, named after Ken Wilson, a retired fishing game biologist. And we're using uh, rebreather equipment, scuba equipment that doesn't emit any bubbles. So this allows us to do these clandestine runs. Divers can actually sit underneath resting otters with no bubbles. We don't spook the animals and it allows the divers that opportunity to uh, hopefully pick out that animal that they targeted when they saw it from the boat. That course is good, Mike. Um, she's there in the group of three on the left-hand side of the bigger group. She's still the closest one to you. A little bit lower in the water, sleeping. Uh, target's good, though. We took her in off this table, get her inside, get her um, situated a bit, and palpating her abdomen, she's pregnant. Her The fetus is about the uh, size of a small lemon or a lime, so she's probably a little over half to two-thirds term right now. Ready? 